AMD has filed a patent for something that everyone knew would eventually happen, an MCM GPU chiplet design, spotted by Lafrit David over on Twitter and published to freepatents.com. The document shows that AMD is planning to build a GPU chiplet graphics card that is eerily reminiscent of its MCM based CPU design. With Nvidia working on its own MCM design with Hopper architecture, it's about time that we left monolithic GPU designs in the past and enabled a truly exponential performance growth. The patent points out that one of the reasons why MCM GPUs have not been attempted in the past is due to the high latency between the chiplets, programming models, and it being harder to implement parallelism. AMD's patent attempts to solve all of these problems by using an on-package interconnect called the high bandwidth passive crosslink. This would enable each GPU chiplet to communicate with the CPU rather than each of the other chiplets via passive crosslinks. Each GPU would also feature its own cache. This design appears to suggest that the GPU chiplet will be a GPU within its own right and fully addressable by the operating system. Now there have been leaks in the past which suggest AMD is considering the move to an MCM design for its GPU after RDNA 3 and if Nvidia's Hopper does the same then AMD would have very little choice but to do it as well. Intel has already achieved success using the MCM design methodology and demoed the first MCM based GPU quite a while back. One thing is for sure things are about to get very interesting in the GPU enthusiast space. AMD has proven itself to be exceptionally good at creating MCM based products. Its Zen based CPUs are absolutely disruptive to the HEDT market space. They single handedly turned what was exclusively a 6 core and very expensive affair into a 32 plus core affordable combination. The power of servers and Xeons has finally in the hands of the average consumer. So why can't the same philosophy work for GPUs as well? Well, theoretically speaking, it should work better in regards to GPUs, which are parallel devices, than for CPUs, which are serial devices. Not only that, but you're looking at a massive yield gain from shifting to an MCM-based approach instead of a monolithic die. A single huge die has asymmetrical yields, is expensive to produce, and usually has high wastage. Multiple chips totaling the same size would offer yield increases straight off the bat. Long story short, AMD is perfectly capable of creating MCM based GPUs and would even get some serious yield benefits out of doing this if it chooses to run with this feature in the future. Now Nvidia is also actively pursuing the same path for the same reasons. So it'll be interesting to see how this progresses going forward. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.